Live chat and chatbots for B2B websites are really interesting um, tools. They're one of the many things that over the years gathered huge amounts of buzz and excitement and were you know, positioned by many as the next must have solution to growing you know, your business. Um, but lots of things come and go like that um, because in, in application, they don't necessarily deliver everything that's promised. So live chat, chatbots can be incredibly impactful in certain um, parts of the buyer journey, so customer life cycle, certain types of uh, exchange, none more so than customer support, customer service post purchase. But what I've seen multiple times and what I think many people like me have seen is that simply putting chat onto your website doesn't fundamentally change how effective your website is at getting good fit prospects to find and engage with you in a way that generates pipeline. It's due to a variety of factors, no doubt. I suspect that whenever chat is used to increase lead volume, it can very easily do it at the expense of lead quality, which is you remove all of the structure from uh, from, a, from a visitor to your website sort of entering the sales process. And while we talk about the benefits of removing friction, which we completely stand by, if you remove absolutely every element of friction, then you open the floodgates and you don't necessarily get more of your customer coming to you, but you are investing more of your time and resources in talking to people who are a poor fit or not likely to buy. As much as we might want live chat to radically uh, increase the frequency with which visitors to our website buy from us, simply presenting them with live chat as a channel doesn't directly, immediately, in all cases, have that impact. So conversational marketing sounds attractive because you know, in principle, humans want to talk to other humans, and that's the best way to build the trust and, and develop a, an opportunity. Um, so the, the notion there is that by putting chat, um, or in some cases, chat bots onto our website, we're facilitating that very natural human desire. And therefore, you know, we're going to be more effective at generating conversations that go on to become opportunities. The reality, however, is rather different, um, and I've not seen it dramatically change the way that buyers behave on websites in the majority of B2B cases, where they still seem to treat the business and the website and their personal data and their time in a relatively similar fashion to the way that they have over, over recent years, which is very controlled, and they don't willingly engage with those systems. It's, it's a form of gating, anyway, um, where you're really taking time and information from a prospect before they're truly ready to give it in many cases. And what I've certainly seen is that when we're using or when, when businesses use chat to replace a form, but it's still a bot and therefore it's a scripted exchange, buyers are very quick to spot that, realize it's not genuine, realize it's no different to the form that they can fill in on their own terms, on their own time, and take that route anyway. So it hasn't been transformational in many of the situations we've seen it applied, um, but that doesn't change the importance of live chat as a channel, um, you know, in, in growth, predominantly around supporting your existing customers uh, for the most part, which is where it's most effective by far.